Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about resolving power. So resolving power is the minimum angle that you, can, you are able to differentiate two separate objects. So on the board I have got different, uh, so stars, I've got crosses to represent stars and as you can see as I get them closer and closer together it's probably going to get harder and harder and harder to see them uh, as separate objects. So here, got the here, here, and I can tell you now there's definitely, definitely uh, two separate. And even if I can make them smaller now, even smaller still, those two are separate crosses that I have put together and they're very close together. So the resolving power is the minimum angle that you are able to distinguish two objects separately. And a good way to visualize this is at night, when you have a car headlights and it's really, really far away, it just looks like one light. When the car comes closer, you're able to distinguish the two headlights. So if you are given information, for example, here, let's say I've got two stars, okay, and this is me here. What I want to do here, I can see these two stars clearly. If I move them any further away or further back, or if I move further back, it becomes blurred. So this here, if I drew an angle from here to here, this angle here would be my resolving power, okay? So this is the minimum angle that can see two objects, oops, can't spell today, clearly. And you can calculate that using many methods. So what I can do is if I knew that they were 1.8 times 10 to the 17 meters apart, and I know the distance to them was 1.7 times 10 to the 12 meters, I can use arc, okay, because this is an arc length, and this is a distance, a radius, because this is a small sector of the circle. I know, oops, the calculator is misbehaving, so let's grab another one. They've all gone missing, my calculators, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Ah, there's one. Yeah. Sorry about that. So, um, arc length is r theta. So theta is arc length over theta. Okay. Uh, ooh, oh. <laughs> so I've got 1 point times 10 to the 17 to this here. So 1.8 times 10 to the 17. Ooh. I might want to redo the numbers, I do apologise. Let's say this is 10 to the 12, and this is times 10 to the 17. Sorry about that. That would make a very funny number. <laughs> Divided by 1.7 times 10 to the 12, and I get... So 1.8 times 10 to the 12, divided by 1.7 times 10 to the 17, and I get an answer of 1.05 times 10 to the minus 5 radians. Okay? Which means that is the smallest angle my eye is able to differentiate between two objects. I can convert this into degrees. So 1.05 times 10 to the minus 5 rad equals... <coughs> so I'm going to times it by 180. I'm going to divide it by pi. And that is 6.1 times 10 to the minus 4 degrees, and then I can convert it into another unit of measure measurement called arc minutes and arc seconds. So if I divide it by 60, I will have it in arc minutes, okay, wait, not divide it by 60, okay, and then, ah, it will be, if I times it by 60, that will be it in arc minutes. So it's 0 0.03 
six arc minutes, and that's represented by this dash here. And if I times arc minutes by another 60, I get 2.18 arc second. Okay. So this here is the resolving power of my object that I'm seeing here. So the resolving power is the minimum angle that I am able to see two objects clearly. And I'm able to use arc length to be able to work that out. Just to recap on these conversions, okay, to go from radians to degrees, okay, you times by 180 and you divide by pi. To go from degrees to arc minutes, you times by 60, and to go from degrees to arc seconds, you times by 3,600, because it's arc minutes times 60 there. Okay? So that there is resolving power.